Guys, as promised before, I have another amazing Reebok Classic Vintage shoe coming for you today. As you can see in front of you, my favorite type of box. Kind of strange, to be honest with you, because by that time Reebok changed those boxes and they were a little bit of a different design because the shoe that you're going to see comes from a little bit later than mid-90s um, from... Um, I think 97, 98, but let me show you real quick what it is and I will talk about it. As you can see, Reebok, Shaq Steel, Black, Charcoal, Purple, and Reebok Ice. Um, size 9.5, nine a, a little bit bigger than for me, but at the same time I really wanted to find these. And I did on eBay and I love them so much. As you can see, the box is actually made in 93. I don't know why they reused that box. Uh, because uh, at that time Reebok was actually using different boxes but anyway, uh, let me show you uh, the shoes I'm gonna open them and talk to you uh, by the way inside of this one let me see if I can show it uh, there's some of those instructions you know how to take care of your shoes um, and several of these uh, I have several of these on some of them and I don't really know rhyme and reason why Reebok did these for some shoes but not for another um very uh i'm very happy to get these uh on in my collection to be honest with you uh I mean, i'm on on the on the mission to find all the shack shoes uh, shack is one of my all-time favorite players uh so i really wanted to uh, find all the shoes that uh he played in back in the day from from reebok of course and then, let me see if this this little stamp over here if the camera picks it up so in the box, as you can see, it says 95, 529. So this shoe actually came out in May 29 in 1997, as you can see on the stamp. So let me close the box and show you the shoes. Now these have a little bit of a interesting smell. Um, when I opened the box, I kind of, you know, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. That's something I've smelled in the past. And this is... Um, let me see uh, how can I explain it so when polyurethane starts uh, dissolve dissolving it has this um, strange smelling um, strength smelling not strength smelling but strange smell off of it and what is uh, the part that dissolves with this one is the insole so the insoles if I stuck my hand inside and kind of touch them they're they're completely you know dissolved uh, how can you tell when you press on them they stay there like a memory foam they're not going to retract back um, so inside unfortunately I cannot show you it says Reebok right there um, but the insole I cannot pull uh, and even if I attempt they're going to completely crumble and fall apart uh, great padding by the way inner liner is very high quality in my mind in my humble opinion this is the tag for Reebok that was in kind of later 90s with the blue instead of red over here, made in China. Uh, these, um, again, are one of those shoes that are <laughs> very hard to find on the internet, to be honest with you. Um, you know, alongside with the reflection, with the dunk mob and the preacher, um, these, are, these are hard to find. So, how is the shoe made? Primarily, this is a very nice black uh, tumbled leather, very soft, as you can see. Uh, genuine of course uh, Reebok was not playing around with the materials when it comes to shack shoes and around that time most of them were genuine materials anyway then underneath that layer is a very nice new book which is again um, genuine and then we have another layer of, of leather so there was a lot of paneling uh, and you kind of lay overlays and underlays this section here is actually mesh kind of like a ballistic mesh what you gonna call today um, like um, canvas sort of sort of material that it's a little bit more breeding um, and uh, right at the bottom here in the ton you can see there's mesh as well for the breathability but that's uh, pretty much it <laughs> when you think of it when you have uh, we have the logo here uh, the vector logo and then we have this very um, yellow now back in the day it was also yellow but not as yellow so I'm really not bothered by that, to be honest with you, because that, that makes them real look, look nicer, in my mind. A kind of a translucent plastic that provides a little bit more um, support when you tie them up. The actual shock shoe, of, of course, was higher and featured a 
Achilles a pump chamber, but that one was only for him, not intended for the public, and the ones for public did not have the pump chamber. On the hill, as you can see here, we have the Shaq uh, signature Dunk Man logo, um, and underneath there is the Vector logo on the midsole. This section is part of the midsole, that it's kind of softer and more responsive, and then the outsole is hard rubber compound. It's kind of kind of have a glitter in it, and it's Reebok, what a Reebok call Reebok Ice, was um, translucent. But in this particular version, it's a little bit darker. Plus, the midsole being black, uh, you don't have uh, much of a translucency there. Uh, I will talk to you about the system, the system in a second. Just wanted to show the whole shoe. This is the medial side. Again, very nice tumble leather. Uh, by the way, no sole separation anywhere. The the glue holds um, this leather amazing. There is no amazingly there is no problem whatsoever when you have genuine leather. Uh, they t tend to stay like this forever. Uh, kind of a pump lookish logo, vector logo on the on the ton. It's not pump. It's just raised up and has air underneath, so it's a little bit softer. Same mesh here. We have very nice round laces uh, on the shoes, and again. This I think this is the first uh, model that Reebok uh, gave Shaq with the suspen su su suspended hexalite. Let me try that again. Suspended hexalite, and then the last model he rocked in the following season, 98-99, it was the um, reflection, which also had suspended hexalite and had hexalite in the forefoot. Uh, again, was higher, featured the pump around the Achilles, but again the. Um, version that was released for the public for all the fans was just lower and featured the hexalite and the hero and the forefoot uh, so this is a giant slab of hexalite that extends from this section all the way through underneath the hill as you can see there's this uh, my finger on the other side um, this is what the suspended hexalite is it's in sits kind of a, in the air and you have this um, plastic that looks like a metal a bridge that it's kind of upside down bridge that goes underneath your hill so you have a space between the actual hexalite and the bridge underneath so when your uh, foot sits on top and you compress down it feels like it's basically suspended it's uh, you know that's the point um, hexalite being one of the very uh, hard materials and kind of a hard by you know definition of being very strong not really hard it's very soft and responsive as you can see but very stretchy and responsive so uh, that's a uh, uh, providing a great comfort and all that it's kind of a cupped in this tpu cage so the whole hexalite i've seen this shoe de deconstructed uh in other uh, videos and materials online in the past and this whole um hexalite patch that extends from uh, medial to the lateral side and obviously it's written hexalite right here as you can see uh, this whole patch is big very big it's about i don't know four or five inches um or maybe five inches and six inches longer, uh, very big, uh, and wraps around around the whole hill. Ex uh, amazing um, comfort, and uh, as you can see in the hill here, where the two cutouts are, you can see the hexalite as well underneath. Uh, there's a little TPU uh, bridge here uh, on the arch system, arch system, on the arch section, not system, obviously. But yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a greatly preserved shoe, you know, minus the um, insoles where, where they're deteriorating and kind of crumbling. As you can see, um, laces are, oh, sorry, not the, ca the camera, laces are very nice. Uh, come on, focus on the laces. Round laces, very nice round laces, and uh, even the sticker sits right there, which has uh, uppers of leather and non-made uh, materials. That was normal st sticker back in the day. Um, yeah, great find. I gotta say, guys, I'm, I'm super excited about these. I'm, I'm super happy that I was able to find a pair. Uh, by the way, the ton is not held by bungees or, or, or anything. It's just free-flowing. Um, another amazing pair. This was one of the original colorways. The other one was the white based. It was kind of again white, uh, Reebok eyes and, and gold, you know, to represent um, the colors of uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Obviously, uh, Shaq was playing with the Lakers at that time. So um, those uh, kicks were made in, in this particular 
uh, colorway for him. So, uh, I am still in the search of uh, the, the Reflection, Dunk Mob, and Preacher. Um, obviously, there's a few other ones that not too many people know about, like the Trainer 1, which is really a, a unicorn am among all the unicorns of Shock Shoes that's impossible to find. But hey, I, I'm a patient man. I will try to find it. Uh, great detail on that shoe. I, I'm really happy to to finally have one in my in my hand. You know, last time I saw that shoe was almost 20 years ago in stores. So obviously, I didn't have the money to buy it. Didn't do it. Um, now I finally was able to find them in a very very uh, cheap price in my mind for the state of this shoe. Uh, great uh, seller on eBay that I've been communicating all the time. He has uh, tons of vintage shoes that. I was interested in and I was keep keep buying from him but uh, you know really love that and, and you can see actually the underlay of the uh, behind the Haxalite is actually purple to again kind of represent the colors of uh, Los Angeles Lakers uh, Haxalite writing very nice textured and kind of on, on this shiny metallic looking you know TPU that goes around um, I think the whole shoe looks looks amazing Nice pull tab, very comfortable and soft in, uh, in inner liner and padding on the ton and everything else. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Another great addition to my uh, collection. Another shock shoe that I absolutely love and we will never probably see as a retro. Uh, but regardless, um, I'm extremely excited to, to get these in my collection and... Thank you for, for all of your support, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. There will be a lot more exciting things to come very soon. Uh, stay tuned to collectivekicks.com for more sneaking news, reviews, and history articles. And until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.